Hello, Alma City Golfers. Today is Tuesday, January 15th. Welcome to the ACGT Tour Report with myself, Paul DiGiovanni, and ACGT Tour Commissioner, Travis Salkowski. Uh, this past weekend, we had the season kickoff at Brackenridge Park, but before that, we had a USGA Rules Seminar right here in the Boardroom Studio. Yes, special thanks to Rich Waisley, who was our keynote speaker and our seminar presenter. He provided rules books to all participants, and everyone that showed up for the rules seminar received 20 tour season standing points. All right, thanks again to Rich for uh, putting on that seminar for us. It was really great to see so many tour players uh, show up and ask questions and participate in that event. Uh, let's get right into the results from Sunday. We had a full field of 124 players uh, for the two-person 666 event. Yeah, it turned out to be a great day for golf. It started off a little chilly, but it turned out to be a beautiful sunny January day. The 666 format is a two-person modified event. The first six holes are two-person best ball, the second six holes are scramble, and the final six holes are alternate shot format. Let's get right into the winners from each flight. The field was broken down into three flights. Championship flight, congratulations to John Pierce and Pat Youngs with low tournament gross of 65 for taking home first place honors. Stephen Wilson and Brian Carver won a scorecard playoff for second place gross. Ron Finnerty and Mark Miller took third place gross in championship flight. The net division of the championship flight, Tom Imanchu and Jim Keener shot 65 for first place honors. Second place belonged to John Dante and Dan Killian, shooting a 66. All right, in the first flight, our uh, gross division, first place went to Chris Dabula and Antonio Flores with a score of 71. Second place went to John Davis and Don Thomas with a 75, four shots back of Dabula and Flores. Uh, Bill Evans and Fred Hines took third place in the first flight gross with a 76, uh, which was actually won in a scorecard playoff. Uh, in the net division first flight, we had Randy Wingenroth and Todd Malden with a 63, net 63. Second place was won by Brandon Klein and Aaron Mulder with a net 66. And in the second flight, Dan Tack and David Cortinez with a convincing four-stroke victory, shot a 73 to take home gross first place honors. Second place gross went to Chris Hughes and Steve Robert, shooting a 77, and winning a three-way scorecard playoff, Kirk Riggs and Ben Walker shot 79 for third place gross. In the net division of second flight, Ronnie Davis and David Castillo shot 65 to take home first place honors. Second place net went to Greg Graff and Brian Kendall, winning a scorecard playoff, shooting 67. Thanks again to everyone who participated in the event on Sunday, our season kickoff. We're really excited about the rest of the season and going into the summer tour and the playoffs later this year. Uh, congratulations to all of our winners. Remember, if you do not claim your prize, you can pick it up at the Brackenridge Park Pro Shop. And if you'd like to see the full results, visit AlamoCityGolfTrail.com. Uh, each week on the Tour Report, we'd want to bring in a rules question or issue. Uh, and this week during the tournament, we actually had an interesting uh, penalty that occurred. And uh, Travis, do you want to explain what happened during the tournament? Yes, it was in the alternate shot portion on hole 18 here at Bracken Ridge Park. Rule 29-3, alternate shot stroke play. If the partners make a stroke in incorrect order, the strokes are canceled and the team incurs a penalty of two strokes. The team must correct the error by playing the ball in correct order as nearly as possible at from the spot which it was first played in incorrect order. Nice play. Thank you. Thank you. In that rules video, we saw Lonis miss a short putt and then tap it in. 
This is a perfect example of the situation that happened this past week at Bracken Ridge Park and Rule 29-3. This instance is important, Paul, because we do have another 666 event on the tour schedule for 2013. It's actually the season kickoff event for the summer season of the tour. So this rule will come into play again on the tour of 2013. Yeah, I think it's also important to point out that there's similar issues that could arise during a scramble event where one player hits a putt and misses it, goes to tap it out and prohibits his partner from hitting the original putt, which could make a, a better score for them. So that is correct. In, in the scramble format on the tour, the first ball that is hold is the score your team will take. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Travis, for that explanation on the rules. And uh, thank you guys for watching the first ACGT Tour Report. We hope you guys uh, keep up with us and uh, come out to the tour and play and compete in a fun, friendly atmosphere. Uh, make sure you go to allencitygolftrail.com to register for all of the tour events. They're all open for registration right now. And uh, make sure you sign up soon because they do fill up fast and we do cap them usually around 100 to 120 players. Uh, so also remember to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. That's where we post uh, right when the results get posted. We post it there first to let you know that they've been posted. We'll also post these videos as well as other things. Uh, it's also a great place to communicate with Travis and other tour competitors. Uh, so make sure you visit Facebook and Twitter and AllenCityGolfTrail.com for registration. Thank you again, golfers. We look forward to seeing you at Cedar Creek in two weekends. If you have any tour related questions, please feel free to email me at travis at satxgolf.com.